Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the shiny button object. So this is the final output of the application and basically to show you what we will going to achieve uh, from this video. So this is basically a very simple video uh, about this shiny button object which we call action button and what it helps us is basically taking the input from the user and then processing it. Generally if you see uh, the inputs uh, from the shiny they are reactive in nature that means if i'm entering let's say 150 and having 50 and using the normal reactive expression to take the output by this time i would have the output right over here in the main panel or somewhere in the white space but because we are having the calculate button it is waiting for the calculate or the application is waiting for the calculate button to for the user input and based on what we have specified will going to be calculated once we fire this event on the calculate button. So if I hit calculate, it gives me the sum of these two values. If I change it any value, let's say 500 and again calculate, then it gives us. So basically the idea is that, that our application should wait for this button to be pressed and then only we should get the output. That means the processed output, not like the reactive output, which we generally get as soon as we are entering the information within our any of our input uh, in, input control. So let's go and quickly see its UI or UI dot R and server dot R. So the first thing is uh, giving the numeric input. So here I have given the two numeric input uh, number one and number two. So these are the two num two numeric text box which you saw there. And after that I have given a simple action button the name of the id for this button is btn short form of button and i've given a value calculate for a front so that end user can press on it or relate to it and then in finally in main panel we have just given a simple output of total total is to indicate sum and this total is here we have specified along with the output dollar total so what we are saying in output dot dollar that hey just render the text with the render text function and we are passing this function which is calculate so calculate is calculated over here and here we are saying that with the help of event react so this is just different than the other form of examples that you have seen so button object to have or to have the patience in the shiny application that wait for the user input it basically uses uh, event reactive as one of the functions it has a couple of others which i will explain you in other videos but in this video i want to explain the event reactive and it basically waits for this input dollar button the first parameter so it's basically saying that wait or in a normal language it's saying that wait for this input dollar button to be clicked and once it is clicked then calculate these values so whenever input dot button clicked, its value changed, and whatever you are specifying in two input boxes, number one and number two, so that's what we have specified number one and number two, and with the help of input parameter of this function, we are taking that input from the front end and we are adding it. Once we have added it, its value is stored in calculate, and it is going here in the calculate function, and the two output is going to front end by with the help of this output function so all in all the idea is to up to introduce the event reactive function which helps us taking the input from the user and once the button is clicked its value changed over here and it fired the this expression or it calculates or evaluates this expression and then based how we have to further capture this uh, or where we want to print it we go in and specify it so that's a quick video i wanted to show you to introduce with the action button and how you can receive the user input with the help of event reactive function and specify the values so if you see generally we in, in any other example i have specified the value after these curly braces but here because we wanted input dollar button as our first parameter as in wait uh to have the in first to get the input from the user we have specified the button and then once the button is clicked this particular event is getting fired or expression is getting evaluated and 
values are stored over here. Finally, get printed in this entire block function with the help of the output total. So that's quickly I wanted to introduce and I hope you will be able to use now the action button and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.